Hello, I'm Zardis. Grab some coffee, sit back, and relapse as we build in RimWorld. So last time, we had some crazy stuff happen. We collected, or we captured a couple prisoners, and then they went mad being kept in this tiny little room. And then, of course, they broke out and caused a whole bunch of trouble when Vicky went in to feed them. And uh, yeah, so we're healing from that. The other thing I want to do is I want to keep our dog out of the freezer because the dog has been eating the meat and that is not good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to zone and what we want is we want to change allowed area and we're going to create area one, which will be where we allow the dog to go. And that can pretty much be like anywhere but the kitchen. Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll keep this like that dog can go pretty much yeah anywhere but the kitchen. There we go. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go to animals and Sumo, the dog, can only go in area one. So now any food that gets in there will not get eaten by the dog. So now Myla is working on uh, cooking more meals because we are out of meals again. And uh, I think we might need more food. Where are you going, Myla? Where are you going? You're pigging out. Oh, man. Oh, we've got more meals up here. Look at that. But Myla is probably going to eat them because Myla has a trait. Uh, what is it? Which one is it? No, she doesn't have a trait. Every once in a while, somebody has a trait that makes them pig out relatively frequently. Yeah, Myla is on a food binge because of poor mood. So we really got to get this built. Vicky might need some help building. I think we'll put Bakari on that. Yeah, Vicky and Bakari can both work on that now which will help a little bit, but I think Vicky's the only one that can craft. We'll put both of them on crafting too. Maybe that will help a bit. And cutting plants, Myla can cut plants. Vicky was cutting plants to do construction. Okay, that should be a good mix there. We did have some venison just rot away in storage. And we had some more meat go bad because we don't have batteries yet. So we need to get to batteries because we are running out of food, guys. But we did just get a whole bunch of rice harvested. So that should work. I'm a little bit concerned because uh, this is taking so long to build with the marble. Maybe we should replace it with wood. Wood would go up much faster and then we could get a research table but we would be at risk of fire. So I think we're going to keep on going this way. It is summer. Yeah, we need a, a refrigerator. Food crops are going to go bad. People might get hot. We don't, I mean, they do have a cooler. What are you, you're upset? You're still in serious pain and you've got an ugly environment. Yeah, I know. There's not much I can do about that though. Oh, they their moods are going to be bad until we get them their own rooms and start to get things improved. But Myla, you have the food. Can we get more people on cutting plants? Bakari, no, you, you got to work on other stuff. Uh, like healing. Yeah, get better first. And we've got a little bit of an issue in that it is so hot. It is 94 degrees that we are starting to get a little bit of heat stroke. Myla has heat stroke. It's still in the initial stages. It'll get worse if they are uh, continuing to be out. What we could do is we could have her step into the kitchen for a little bit or the freezer for a little bit. And that would probably help a bit. And in fact, Myla will have to go in there to get some food in a minute. Look at that. We are finally, Bakari got enough stones to start making some progress on these walls. So that'll be really great. So we can go ahead and start to queue up some more of this stuff. Uh, we do want to have this as prisoner beds. 
we're going to come in here and we'll go ahead and get uh, what's the difference in these 40 wood additional and what are the i want to check here so beauty is one for a wooden bed the double bed it's two beauty we'll go ahead and give them double beds we get one there one there and one there got to finish building the walls first though but that i mean we're gonna get some good stuff here and heat stroke went away so that's good this setup now we're making good progress by changing it to have more than one person working on construction and uh stone cutting that's what is doing it a warrior from the enya treaty is passing by Okay, well, so we could attack them. We have a couple options right now. We could come in here and attack, but if we did that, then the Enya Treaty would get mad at us. And they are currently neutral. We already have a bunch of hostiles, so we're not going to attack him. We're going to just let him be, not do anything. Just let him pass us by. So this room is done being built, we are going to come in here and tell them to haul stuff out of here and out of there. Actually, we got to get rid of, I want to click on that storage area. Okay, we'll do it this way. Zone, shrink zone, no storage in there. We've got a storm right now. This is a dry thunderstorm. Those are dangerous because normally in a thunderstorm, like, okay, now it's a rainy thunderstorm. Lightning can strike things and set them on fire, but the rain will put it out. In a dry one, that won't happen. Uh, we can go ahead and assign somebody over here. This is going to be... Akari's room, because we're going in alphabetical order. Akari, you get a whole new room. Look at that. We've got a fire over here, and uh, we're going to let it go. As long as it's raining, it should go out. There we go. It went out on its own. Not a big deal. We're still really low on food. We need to harvest more of our rice. I'm going to go ahead and put Bakari on that as well. Actually, we'll get both Bakari and Myla on harvesting because we really got to get that. We really got to get more food going, growing rowing. Myla is only a two a three there. Oh, we've got another raid. The club vultures. They're going to prepare for a little bit and then tag just another person with a knife. Teenager just kind of drifting around. Okay, well we don't really have any defense set up yet. But what we're going to do is we will bring everybody in once they are attacking. And we do have, we've got two beds set up. This one is going to be, that's outside though. We're not gonna do any bed outside yet. No, like never, I never want to have a bed outside. Got another room done here. Just gotta get the roof on it the rest of the way. These corpses are rotting over here. I'm not bothering to bury them just yet because I really want to, to uh, get this construction done. Okay, so the attack is beginning. Where did they end up? We've got a fire up there. Fire isn't too big. There's meno, whatever. Okay, Myla is the one with the knife. So we're going to pull Myla back for a moment. And these two are going to come out here. Mena is going that way. We're going to come around this way. There we go. Yeah, you did some damage to my refrigerator, but not a big deal. Uh, Mena is dead immediately. Okay, so we're just going to allow this wake up and grab the steel knife. And everybody can get back to whatever they wanted to be working on. Okay, so this room, our butcher room, is now available. We're going to go ahead and put a butcher table in there. And there's a mad guinea pig now. 
This guinea pig is going to attack anybody it sees. Okay, well, Vicky, uh, actually, Bakari, you have the revolve odor. I'm going to draft you, and you are going to come out. And you're going to get bit by the thing. Okay, melee attack it. I should have put Myla on it. Shoot. Myla has the, the knife. Yeah, Bakari... I'm going to undraft you. Yeah, run away. Myla, thank you. Okay, Bakari. Where are you going? Oh, no, stop fleeing. Yeah, go rest and heal. You're going to have to tend yourself. You've got a lot of bleeding. Okay, uh, prioritize tending to yourself. We've got medicine. Do that tending. Hopefully it'll be okay. Yep, you're going to be fine. Okay. Vicky, continue working. And this bed is, like, deteriorating. I wish they would not have built it just yet. But it's all right. It'll be okay. We'll get stuff built very soon. I mean, Vicky's going to go to sleep first, of course, but we'll get there and then we'll get all of it ready. So we have another event. It is the Psychic Soothe female. So every female gets a little bit of a like boost to their contentment, which is good. It'll just help them a little bit. Uh, Bakari, let's check on you. You are a little bit better. You're in darkness, but... And an awful bedroom still, but you're no longer in a barracks, so that is good. A barracks is any room that has more than one bed, and you get a a, a hit to your needs with that. But with just one in there, that should be good. And we have another uh, raid from the Club Vultures. They are very hostile. They're coming a lot, and I think that said that they're beginning immediately. So let's see here. At some point, I really want to get a wall built, but for now, we're not going to worry about that. Where are we? Okay, we're up here. We're going to go ahead and draft everybody, uh, except Bakari. Bakari can stay in bed. But these two are going to come out here. And we're going to watch to see. This guy does seem to be coming right away. So we're going to come over to these rocks and hide behind the rocks. Vicky, start shooting. Shoot again. Okay, Myla, attack. Come on. Okay, and the smuggler is dead. So you two can just do your thing. You did, they did bring seven medicine, so that's good. And a wooden club, which we can probably sell for a, a dollar or so. Eventually. Vicky, where are you going? You're going for a walk now? Okay, well, you do you. It's not like we don't have any construction that needs to be done anytime soon, but... Okay. And Myla, how bad are you bleeding? Not too bad. You're just bruised. Okay, that'll be fine. Okay, Vicky finally finished putting the... Or, like, cutting that last tree down in this bedroom. So now we're finally getting more progress done on this bedroom, which... The bed hasn't deteriorated anymore, so that's fine. But we are going to go ahead and queue up a light there, and a light there, and a light there, and a light there. And that should... I think that one was going to work. We'll see. It might be a little too far from the power. I think it's okay. But they're not going to finish that yet, and this room, of course, doesn't have the bed finished yet. So you guys will have to share a room one more night. They actually may have finished this. Vicky has one more tree to cut down, and then they can finish putting the roof on here. And it is a little bit cooler. Uh, actually, indoors, yeah, it is pretty warm. Yeah, this is still unroofed. Vicky went to bed. That's okay. At some point, we do need to get some more air conditioners. Bakari finished the roof here. So we can go ahead and assign this to Myla is next. But I'm not going to do it while she's sleeping, because then she'd have to wake up. 
And actually all the rooms are done. Look at that. We finally finished. We've got one more tree to cut down here. And then the construction is pretty much done. Let's come in here. We're going to queue up a little bit more hunting. I'm not going to be able to get the alpaca ready for winter or like tamed for winter. So we're going to go ahead and start hunting alpaca as well. And now we've got a bunch of wild boar. We're going to go ahead and just be busy hunting for a while. Whoever our hunter is. Vicky and Bakari. They're both on three for that, though. But actually, probably Vicky will end up because... I don't know. Bakari might. I'm going to be making some more marble uh, slabs for a while first, though. And we have to finish the construction we've got going on here. Okay, so, and they're awake. So this can be... Uh, Myla, you're going to have to wake up and move. And then this one will be Vicky. So now they each have their own bedrooms. Which is much better than this setup. And this room is done. So we can go ahead and we're going to just copy this here. And get a light in here. And then we're going to move the kitchen over to here. Which will just be a little bit better. They won't have to be cooking in the freezing uh temperatures we've got an eclipse going on which just makes it dark a little bit longer and that affects their mood a tiny bit but we we are making progress on some of this stuff they need to kind of clear up the inside we could probably put some floors in I'm more concerned about the food though the heel root is almost done Myla did get some rice planted or like a, a second batch and I think that will grow fast enough that we'll get another bit of crops but we're really we're having a bit of food issues so that is what it is but I think again we've got hunting queued up so that should work we still need to get some research done so one thing now that we've got a room here we're going to go ahead and we'll put a light in here off to the side and then I want to make sure we get a dining table here go ahead with a two by two I think that right there and then we can just get some dining chairs in here be a nice dining room and then yeah Vicky's working on it right away but then they won't have to eat on the floor anymore eat standing up they can eat while sitting down and what we can do is we could, in this room, we could probably get our research. Let's go ahead and we'll get a simple research bench set up here. It's gonna make me move the marble before I can even put that there, I guess. That's fine. Can put hauling at a higher priority. Once Vicky's done building that, actually we'll do this right now. Go haul that stuff out of the way, Vicky. What are you hauling? Oh, you're hauling a corpse over there. Okay, whatever. You really could have just left the corpses where they were. But again, you do you. You are smoking a smoke leaf joint. Okay, that's fine. Now you're hauling more stuff. Not the, Okay, finally, haul those blocks out of the way. Bakari is making more of the construction materials, which are in here. We Nope, those are components. Sometimes I forget where things are. They're not in storage, so it doesn't say how many we have. We don't have enough storage. That's part of the problem. Uh, what I'm going to do then is we're going to go ahead and expand this storage. And pretty soon we're going to do more mining in there. And maybe that will be our permanent storage room. Yeah, I mean, we could move prisoner beds over there. We're going to go ahead and just deconstruct these. We'll move one of them over to there. And it can just hang out in that production room. But those can get deconstructed. And then this can be our storage area. We're going to have to do some mining to 
again, expand that storage or put some shelves in there. Shelves can really make your storage quite a bit bigger. But Vicky's busy hauling. Oh yeah, bring that rice in too. We need more people. That's what we, we really, really need. All I want is to be able to get a... Uh, you, you know what we can do? We can do this. We're going to come in. Order. Take it. Hauling off of that. Cancel those orders. And those. All you have to haul are those blocks out of the way. And then this is ready to be expanded. And we had another transport pod crashed. Another person, Nyla. They're from the Club Vultures. Really good at planting. They're a night owl, but a pyromaniac. I don't want them. Sorry. You're just going to bleed. But I am going to take your survival meals. Good luck to you. In the meantime, we are making progress. Quest active. I don't want to do a quest. So quests, you can come in here and like we could send somebody to this location on the world map and they would get hyper weave, which is a really good uh, thing. But it would mean that we would send one of our three people away. And I'm not going to bother with that and just delete the quest for right now. We're too busy trying to survive. And right now we really could use this a wooden wooden bench here. Blocked by oh, this one needs to be hauled. Yeah, Bakari, go out and hunt. We need more meat. Vicky, thank you. You got it out of the way for me. Now you can go back to having a low priority for hauling. Actually, we probably should put two on that somewhere because we want to make sure that we're clearing this out so we can grow new stuff. And we've got a lot of medicine coming in. I think we'll be okay. We've got a lot of things queued up for hunting, which will be a supply of meat. Cleaning up the freezer. I don't really care about the freezer's cleanliness, but that's okay. Got a fire over here, but they're going to work on putting it out for now. That'll be fine. At some point, it'll start raining anyway. So one thing we could do, now it shows that we have 500 marble blocks, which is more than we need. So what we can do is we can come in and we can start to put some floors in. We're going to go ahead with marble tile. Pretty much everywhere, actually. And go ahead and put it in there, too. And one more spot we'll put here. And in the doorways. The freezer, I'm not concerned about there being tile there. I think all of this is going to be great. Yeah, I think that's going to keep them busy for a little bit. I'm going to take Vicky, no, Bakari back off of construction. Mainly because I want Bakari to really focus on hunting. Although right now you're focusing on cleaning. Oh yeah, because I've got a, a two on there. That's why you're going around cleaning, but I guess that's fine. You can have a nice uh, tidy home. I want to click on the bed. I keep clicking on it. Okay, there we go. It's still an awful bedroom. It's a little bit dirty impoverished. We'll get some more stuff built in there eventually, but for now, again, we're still working and surviving. We are making some progress. Some of our meals are rotting away, but that will work. We really we got to get this up so that we can get some research going on. Yeah, work on that. Come on. Stop working on the floor. Prioritize the, bed, the workbench. Okay, now you're relapsing. That's fine. It's time for you to relapse every day. You get some relapsation in, then you won't be as uh, likely to have a mental break. And we might have run out of steel because we've got 
This only has 12, so right now we don't have enough to build the research bench. So we're going to go in and give an order. We want to expand this anyway, but I do want to check the roof. That's fine. Okay, we're going to come in here and just go ahead and queue up that uh, mining there. And a war chief is coming to visit and is willing to trade probably weapons, which I'm not too excited about trading for anyway. Okay, and now we should have the steel that we need. Go prioritize working on that again, Vicky. There we go. We're almost done. Almost done. Yay, we have a research bench. Okay, so we're going to come in here. The first thing we are going to work on is a battery. We really need that. And who's our researcher? Vicky and Bakari. Vicky probably won't for a while because there's a lot of construction to do. But Bakari will probably pretty quick once things are cleaned. Yep, there Bakari is working on it. And we've got a gift, a t-shirt. Lucky us. Just what we always wanted. I'm going to go ahead and expand this. So now we've got a little bit more uh, storage. And the floors are getting done slowly. Myla is working on farming. Actually, we might get a third crop of rice done before winter, which would be really good. The house is going to be in pretty good shape. We're going to need some heaters, but I think that'll be good. I think we'll be, yeah. I think we're we're making good progress. We do. I'm going to put a door in here, actually. Right there. That will just kind of open things up a little bit there. Gosh, I really want those batteries. You can see we're we're making some progress on it, though. Then once we get the batteries, we're going to put a whole bunch of them right here, and that will help keep things cool consistently. All right, and we have another quest here, the Ship to the Stars, which is uh, how you can beat the game. If you complete that quest, then you get off of RimWorld and you have defeated the game. But we are going to leave it here. That's it for today. Be sure to click on the video on the screen. It will take you to the next episode and series. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I did too. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time. Take care.